In the last video, I talked about uh, the process of glycolysis, which is breaking down a single glucose molecule, which I will draw right here. It's a six carbon glucose molecule, and you break that down into two, three carbon pyruvates. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the oxidation of pyruvate. And this happens before anything enters the Krebs cycle, which is one of the, probably the main uh, step of uh, cellular respiration that you may know about. So the reaction uh, of uh, the, well, the glycolysis occurs outside of the cell and then um, the oxidation of pyruvate occurs inside the cell. So if I just draw the outside of a cell right here, and this is your lipid bilayer of the, um, sorry, this is the mitochondrion. So this is your, your uh, mitochondrion bilayer and this is the cytosol, and this is the um, mitochondrion right here. Um, you would have your little pyruvate molecule here, which I'll actually draw the, the structure of it. So you have your carbon double bonded here, and two more carbons with a methyl and another double bonded oxygen. So this is pyruvate. Um, right here. So that is your pyruvate molecule. And what it does is there's a enzyme called pyruvate dehydrogenase that transports this into the mitochondrion. And the um, products that you end up with are CO2, acetyl-CoA, and NADH. So I'll draw each one of these processes here. So first you have a if we draw a long line, actually, I want to do it in white to do your end result here. So your long line with your end result being your acetyl-CoA, um, which is just a two carbon molecule here. And then along this pathway, you're going to have a CO2 that leaves. So the CO2 gets taken off first and then you have um, NADH come in here. So NAD plus here, and then that leaves and becomes NADH plus H. And then you have what is called coenzyme A that comes in here. Coenzyme A that comes in here. So uh, that is where the acetyl group gets attached. And the third thing that we have is another, the NADH coming off here. So the reduction of NAD plus to make NADH. And you get these three products from every single pyruvate. So if we just draw another image here to solidify this, you have your three carbon pyruvate here. I'll just draw it as three circles. And this goes here. You have one of them come off here as a CO2. So one of your carbons uh, you lose right here. Then you have um, an NADH, as I've drawn above, NAD plus comes in and turns into NADH. And then right here you have a coenzyme A that comes in right here. Just put this as CoA. And then your end result is this two carbon molecule with a CoA, acetyl CoA attached to it. So you, for every single one pyruvate that enters, because remember you have two that are coming into this. So for every one pyruvate that you, that you have, you gain one CO2, one NADH, and one acetyl-CoA. Now the acetyl-CoA goes into what is called Krebs cycle in the next video that I'm going to make.